Yeah, we can start whenever. Brah, brah. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Speaking of, um, Faz is too gay to show up. He didn't want to wait at like a bar for like an hour or something. Yeah, right. No balls on him. Yeah, I don't know. I maybe he had to pick up like another shift working the um glory hole in the IHOP bathroom. But <laughs> that's between him and God. He's the only reason keep, he's he's keeping that IHOP open single handedly. He is. He is. They all come for him. They all they all only order like an or, they only order like a cup of coffee, but there's like seven hundred cups of coffee order and it keeps the place afloat. Coffee and some hush puppies. <laughs> <laughs> they get a little hungry after, don't you? I do get hungry after. I ma- I mean, I cry after. You're a loud crier. I am. Why you've heard me cry? I have. That's a mistake that will be remedied. <laughs> When have you ever heard me cry? No, I don't think I have. No, you haven't. I keep that to myself. <laughs> yeah, I only cry after I jerk off. Usually I come within, like, I don't know, 40 seconds, and then I spend, like, an hour, like, quietly sobbing. Well, that's fair. And looking at, like, I don't know, pictures of Antarctica and the penguins. Pictures of women to balance out the 40 seconds. <laughs> 40 <laughs> seconds of gay porn I watched. <laughs> cry, so- cry and being like, why can't I like Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> Ariana Grande is so hot, isn't she? Megan Fox was never hot in Transformers. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. But no, I'm just watching a six-year-old Asian guy get railed out by three big black guys. Wait, how old? <laughs> six-year-old Asian guy? Sure, why not? <laughs> it's out there. I'm sure it's out there. It's got to be out there. Well, if Faz was here today, because... He could confirm it. Yes, but what I like to do during the show, when it's me, Ven, and Faz, is I'll like... Just text Faz like pictures of my crotch, or I'll like. <laughs> Emily, you never know this, right? I'll like <laughs> lift up my pants and just like send him like a picture of like <laughs> my dick in my underwear, and I see him look at the phone like dead face, doesn't say anything, and keeps talking, and never acknowledges it. He never will. He never will. You know, you don't know what those eyes have seen. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably not impressed. Because his expression does not change at all either. No, he's so some, he's like he sometimes has the expression of like the people who lived after storming Normandy Beach. Oh yeah, he's got a thousand yard stare, brother. <laughs> if you've seen all the fucking, he's looking into a different galaxy sometimes, dude. He's seen all the tire movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. That was his Vietnam. <laughs> Worse, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I am surprised how just he loves shitty movies. It makes no sense. I did want to ask him today if he's ever seen the movie God's Not Dead. He's probably seen it. He probably has. He watched the Addison Rae TikTok movie. Did she have a movie? She did have a movie. What is her deal? Like, she's like a plant or something? I don't care for her. She's probably a plant. Yeah. It's kind of hot, though. Kind of, though. But not hot enough. Yeah, but she's 19. You're 25. You can't dip into that. I think she's 20 now. She could almost go to a bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could almost get a drink with her. Oh well, I could sneak oh, her oh. in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't care for her music. What do you think about the Cat Williams rant? Love it. I love Cat Williams. I do love Cat Williams. Cat Will- uh, the Pimp Chronicles. Go out and watch it. Better show than ours. Uh, yeah, not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> Pimp Chronicles is one of the best stand-up specials of all time. Just him in that green velvet suit. Yeah. Just sweating his ass off and then going off for an hour. I, I love it. I, I won't will do s- any of his bits. I mean, you just got to go watch Cat. Cat Williams is amazing. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. If you want Wanda's jewelry, <laughs> <laughs> go to a sitco and buy two packs of Newport 100s. <laughs> and then pay nine ninety nine. I love him. Like, I get that. Like, I mean, who wouldn't get beaten up by a teenager? That is true. We were talking about this last week. How many teenagers we could beat up? Like, a percentage of teenagers that could beat me up is probably, I don't know, like 11 12%. Which you might think, hey, that's kind of low. But especially now, that's like a million-something teenagers. Especially now. Now, yeah. Now it might be like 15. Yeah, they're, they might be getting bigger. They are getting bigger. Are they? Yeah. Are I people think people getting I... worse or better with aging? That's actually a good question. Because, like, people back in, like, 1940s would be like, oh, yeah, I'm 23 in this picture, and they look like they're 48. Yeah, but then they still have their original hair color. I see a lot of people balding now. That's true. Our grandpa does have an immaculate hairline. Jet black. Jet black, too. I'm not going to have hair when I'm 70. <sighs> no, I won't either. 
I'll it, have a I'll have a toupee on because I'm very prideful about my hair. Yeah, my, I said as soon as I it shows sign of bald, I'm getting a toupee. I may get like a Ralphie Sifaretto like hair piece. You gonna shave it immediately? You shaving it and going toupee? Because I don't want it like bald and like that with the long hair. Ah, yeah. I know this is a, a audio medium and I'm doing visual stuff, but yeah, I don't want that. So I probably would get a toupee like Ralphie Sifaretto. Because that's like a pedophile look. Yeah, I don't want that. Or what you could do, you could do it ironically, is you go bald here and then you keep the hair on the sides. But I'm not short and fat like a George Costanza. I'm tall for that. Cause it would not work. If you, I was George Costanza size, I would do it. I'd, yeah, I'd lean into it. It's not a tall person haircut. It's not. So that's why I need the Ralphie Sifaretto toupee. I think you'd look good in a toupee. Yeah, and then I'd start doing coke and beat a stripper to death like Ralphie does in the show. <laughs> Monkey see, monkey do, <laughs> monkey baby. Monkey see, monkey do, baby. I, I, I think I'm going to go fully bald one day. As soon as there's gray you in my beard. To be, you used to get, like, the bald cut. That's because I went to super cuts growing up. Damn, we both did, but I didn't get yeah. the bald cut. I look back at some old photos. Dude, you were skinny, too. Thin, rail You thin. were rail th- I was surprised, because I've always, like... Yeah, Ben was always obviously was skinnier than me. <laughs> night, and, <laughs> yeah. night, night and fucking day, brother. Rail thin. R- you were rail thin. I look like I should be wearing like the year fucking Katrina clothes. <laughs> 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 like I look like one of those kids. You get like a Carolina Panthers Super Bowl champion yeah. shirt, <laughs> just oversized. I became a Bills man because I thought they won four straight. <laughs> so I have all their clothes. Jim Kelly's up. the best player ever. Best quarterback of all time. Five. Four straight. Four straight in a row. Yeah. You looked like a – you were probably like an albino Ugandan child. And then my hair. I had the cowlick in the back. Yeah, you did. I, would start, I, look, I should have been in special ed growing up off looking at these photos. Well, off behavior too. There's a lot of things that probably would have placed you in special ed. How was I in gen ed? What's Jet Ed? General. Oh, General Ed? Like normal kids. Okay. I didn't know I was in the geniuses class. Really? Yeah, Stephen Hawking came to my school, actually, and he says, I like that boy for my geniuses class. He- oh, you did win that award where he flew you out. Yeah, he flew me out <laughs> to an island, and it was so cool. I had such a nice vacation. You got to do math in front <laughs> of your idol. You got to do math, and like, we were just like, oh, we were swimming together, palling around, wrestling in the pool a lot. A lot of wrestling, even out of the pool. A lot of wrestling. I was looking at his face, and does his dick work? No, it can't, right? So he's not that smart. I don't. (laughs) Okay. I don't know if it's about his. His dick doesn't work. He can't drive a car. I don't know if his dick doesn't. Because doesn't his, like, fingers work because he types into his fucking computer? Yeah, but. So is that all he does? How does he get off? I don't know. Does he mentally get off? I know he cheated on his wife when he was getting paralyzed, too. Yeah, but how? Me and Nick Mullen talked about that. You did? Shout out, Nick Mullen. But how? Better show than ours, too. <laughs> <laughs> but how How do you cheat on your wife like that? In a wheelchair, if your dick um, doesn't work. You pay a woman to finger your asshole. <laughs> but he would have to get out of the chair. No, you just lay down in bed like this while she, like, fingers you. Maybe he still is, like, the only thing he can feel is, like, in his side is asshole. Like his thigh? Maybe that's why I love the midgets. She just has to punch his thigh. (laughs) For like a little bit and his fingers jerk a little. He's in the BDSM. I like that. You don't even have to tie him up. Choke me. Choke me. Spit in me. Spit in my eye. He would definitely have to be the dom, right? Call me a whore. (laughs) No, he's a sub. You think he's a dom because he feels... I think he's a dom. I feel like that's prejudice because you feel like people in wheelchairs are like, they feel inferior to us because they just can't walk. They get special treatment. They get part closer. Me and uh, another, me and another cousin formed an anti-handicapped alliance. Really? (laughs) Yes. We were in uh, freshman year of high school playing Minecraft. (laughs) We had an idea of an anti-handicap alliance. Of, well, a lot of them were playing Minecraft. Yeah, we were we were had an idea of like a parking lot with no handicap spots. Well, in fairness, playing Minecraft, I'd hate them too. You can't build like the autistic. <laughs> no, I couldn't. No matter how good you are, dude, at something, I was such a shitty builder too. Yeah. No matter how good you are at something, you'll never be better than an autistic kid no. with a passion. And I have no sense of like scale or that or like none. Even like things being even. No. No. 
I pay attention to details, but I just like can't get it. See, I pay no attention to details. I know you don't. None. I live with you. No and attention. It pisses to detail. me off sometimes. <laughs> just, just like the little things you do around the house, to where I'm like, it just never like over his brain. Like, I shouldn't leave a towel in the sink. <laughs> Every time you shower, there's a towel in the sink. Yeah, I didn't feel like picking it up. I was, but busy. I also don't think you looked at him and like. I'm not going to pick that up. I think you just genuinely did not think about it. Yeah, I just put it in, brushed my teeth, yeah. and the, I was like, oh, this thing's yeah. taken. I'm going to go to brush my teeth and the yeah, other Yeah, I think thing. your mind's elsewhere. So I'm not, like, mad at you. For Constantly being. in thought. <laughs> yeah, you're always thinking about, like, guys and that, but... Guys, uh, athletic guys. <laughs> Big, muscly men. Muscular guys. Yeah. Skinny guys. Skinny guys. Maybe some chubbier guys, too. No. I was looking at, um chubby chaser stuff over the weekend last weekend that was my project for the weekend <laughs> that's who you read that's who you went down the rabbit hole of <laughs> a lot of it's like gay chubby guy porn too wait what a lot of it's like a, a leaner like twink but yeah. not with like a bear but like a fat guy like short sturdy a little bit taller than them but fucking fat like they have fat rolls hanging outside of their pants like they have that great guy. calves though I think they Short, do. Short fat guys have great calves. For the thrusting, I guess. Yeah. That and the thighs? Yeah. But no, it was a lot of like gay chubby chaser porn I was watching for research this weekend. <laughs> research for what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I, I got to look it up. I got to go down this rabbit hole. You have to know. Listen, I'm putting in the work. You are. <laughs> Whether or not that work ever <laughs> equals to anything that I actually do in real life. It That's will, besides the point. It's going to lead to no monetary gain. Yes. But still, the fact that you're putting in the work, people take notice of that. Let's just say I've technically looked at a lot of gay porn for work. I did have a thing when I was in middle school. Yeah. Uh, my one Filipino buddy, he would throw on gay porn and say the first one, whoever looks away first is gay. I love that. So we watched the entire video. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, there was one at a uh, there was one at a construction site. <laughs> it was two and a half hours long. Union dispute. <laughs> they union. weren't even building the house. <laughs> no, it's called a union dispute. They got to work it out with the foreman, don't they? But then when you do construction for a month, you realize everyone's on hard drugs. Yeah, that Mexican or lazy. Yeah. Well, no, the Mexicans are the only ones that work on those fucking sites, and they get paid less. I know. It is kind of atrocious. It is atrocious. It is. Yeah. You know my political feelings on all of this. Yeah. And then the Which lazy people. Foreman should be shot. Yeah. The lazy people make fun of the Mexican people. Even though they're all, yeah. No, it's It was a terrible dynamic. Yeah. There's no uh, working class solidarity. In this they country. did show me some good food options. I, hu- I, hung out, I hung out with the Mexicans. Yeah. No. Hang out with the Mexicans. They're more down to earth. They spoke no English. Doesn't matter. I didn't even know this guy's name. He was from Santa Domingo. Yeah. I would sit in his car, listen to music, go get food. Yeah. I don't think we had one conversation. It was beautiful. I told you, one of the fu- one of the funnest nights I ever had out was I went with like a couple friends to Hurdle. And I told you about that Somalian guy. Yeah. Barely spoke English. Broken English. Hung out with him the entire night. I'm like, this is great. I love this fucking guy. Yeah. Never got his number. Never hung out with him again. All vibes. All vibes. All vibes. There was one night I picked you up with a guy that didn't really speak. And remember, he I had to give him a ride home. I don't even... Oh, yeah. And he didn't know where he lived, and I just dropped him off. The- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I met him out of that one. I was driving for an hour, and we're in the middle of the east side of Buffalo. And I just dropped him off. Yeah, and he's I was probably like, dead now. Hey, buddy, <laughs> you're close to your east. He's like, I'm Yeah, right he didn't know there. where he lived. It was insane. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I go out at night and meet random guys. But No, not at all. Not no. even at Underground. Not even at Underground. A place I've never been to. <laughs> it's... I've never been there. Have you? I have not. Yeah, you have. I've been to the Jew Tunnels. Those are Underground. Uh, that is hilarious what's happening right now. I stay in the mattress. I'll put my arm up. <laughs> <laughs> the Jew that Tunnels. That was me. <laughs> the Jew Tunnels are hilarious right now. Yeah. The Hasidic thing going on there. That cop deserves a promotion. We don't do this in America, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do this in America. I mean, is that 
that's New York City right there. An Italian cop yelling at a Hasidic Jew yep. for building. They were building those tunnels since the beginning of COVID. Yep. They were, like, clawing out, like, um, I think, like, it was, like, behind the women's bathroom there, too. Yeah. They, like, gotten out, like, a thing. It's all over, like, it's all over, like, some guy who died in that church who they think is their messiah or whatever. It might be. I don't know, but he's been dead for years, and they're convinced he's alive in there, and yeah. that's why they built the tunnels into the synagogue. Mm, smart. Uh, yeah, they've been fighting over it. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Also, the little Hasidic Jews can't really read or write. No, they really can't. They are just They like, legitimately cannot. They're just like Amish people if they were dumber. Well, that's um, – this thing was brought up on another podcast I live, listened to, but it is kind of insane with – because I've been to New York. Yeah. I've seen, like, we were, like, walking around the neighborhood, me and I, and we saw, like, Hasidic Jews and, like, they were, and it's, like, different fucking planet. A lot of hair. Yes. But different fucking planet. I mean, I'll tell you about the central, uh, I mean, Museum of Natural History story later. I'm not saying that on a pod. All right. But that's, that's a funny thing. But, um, there was, yeah, you see those neighborhoods. The amazing thing, this point has already been brought up, but. Like, the Amish are, like, such an insular community, right? Yeah. But they're, like, out in the country. Yeah. Imagine having that same amount of insular community in the biggest metropolitan area in the country. Yep. It's insane. They're doing this in the middle of New York City. They're in Manhattan and doing this. It is absolutely insane. And Brooklyn. And Brooklyn. Most of these kids, they don't speak English at all. They speak their own language. They speak, yes, they speak Yiddish. They read the Yiddish. They have no, and they're they are in the middle of New York City, and they have no contact with like the rest of New York City. No, how insular that community is is pretty insane. It's like an Amazon tribe. Yes, that's and that's like there. also like the cops are confused to begin with, like what to do. They're like, wow, these people do not look yeah. like us. And, I mean, they're NYPD cops. I mean, they got no problem choking out a black person or that. But like when they see the Hasidic Jews building tunnels and they're fighting each other over the tunnel they're like i don't know what to do they held up that peter griffin chart <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're like i don't know what to fucking do here yeah no that's it, it's nuts i think it's kind of funny i don't know i don't know if it's like that video of, did you see the one of the guy like out in the middle of the street some guy's filming it and he crawls out of like a storm drain. yeah i did see that it's insane i feel like they just drag you down they hear it, one free this has also been brought up but imagine like not having a phone to record that and trying to explain that to someone no. and try not to be like the sound like the most anti-Semitic person <laughs> on earth. <laughs> yeah, I saw a, I saw a Hasidic Jew climb out of a storm drain. <laughs> I was talking about free. Oh yeah, Palestine. I'm sure you did, buddy. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is wild. It's nuts. And this is only uh, second week of 2024. It's gonna get even nuts. It's been there. a good year. Hit the link in this episode description and get 25% off your first purchase at CB Distillery. There is free shipping on orders of $75 or more. You get things such as gummies, oils, chocolates, drink mixes, bombs, and even more chocolates. You can shop by Benefit 2 CBD Relax for help sleep, for pain relief, and it's even good for your pets. New Delta 9 THC gummy is available in states where it's legalized. If you're interested in buying some merch such as hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, bucket hats, and other great items, hit the link in the episode description or in the Instagram bio at Schema and Dream Pod. Or you can go to the website yourself and check out snackspot.se slash career slash teespring.com. And if you're interested in advertising on this show or our twin show, Two in the Cooler, email snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond. I rewatched Friday, so I don't have to... Oh, with Ice Cube? Yeah, uh, yeah. and Chris Tucker. Okay. Is he canceled now? Didn't we cancel him last episode? We did. We did, but so I wanted... why'd you, why'd you I watch I wanted to Friday? watch it. I wanted to remember the good of my heroes. Okay. <laughs> Growing up. Yeah, sure. Different time. Different time. Fame got to him. Thing. When do you think he did it? Like after the Rush Hour movie, between sequels. I think it would have been. When after. did he get to the point of, hey, I'm like kind of a funny black guy with a high annoying voice to I could <sighs> rape kids on an island. Whenever, when do you think that point? Crossed? I think whenever P Diddy had his all white party. <laughs> <laughs> I think th every time he does that, when P Diddy throws a big party, that's when they hook you in. <laughs> 
Technically, we have to say we're joking because that would count as slander, and we could get in trouble for that. I'm allowed to talk shit about P. Diddy because he's also a mouth breather. Yeah, but I, no, I'm talking about Chris Tucker because technically that's slander, but I don't think so. No. I don't know the right you on uh, Kimmel's side or Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers. Me too. Faz hates Aaron Rodgers. I hate Aaron Rodgers, too. I think he fucking... I, one, he set the Jets organization back another 10 years. Not unless... Well, he's going to come back next year and light it up. Watch it. No, he won't. He will... What did I say without even... Like, this is when I was first starting to get into football. What did I say all off season about uh, Aaron Rodgers? You did say he was going to get hurt. And that he... Like, I said, this is fucking stupid. And this is when I was first getting into football. Now before... Now I'm an expert. Obviously. Obviously, yeah. Obviously. Because I'm having sex with Dawkins now. You got the jersey. I got the jersey on. You got the jersey from him. (laughs) I did get the jersey from him. Big fan of the show. He mailed it in to you. He mailed it in after, you know, he's like, hey, Jake, come over one night. I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm like, you want me to do a bid in front of you or that? He's like, nah, 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 just come here, come here. And then he's like, look at my tattoos I have on my chest. I'm like, those are pretty nice. He threw on a movie. He threw on a movie. He's like, whew. Some ice cream? I'm like, sure. He's like, I got a little extra whipped cream right there. <laughs> Put him right on those rock-hard nips of his. He yeah. kept his house at a 51 degrees. So, you know, I'm like, he's like, Jake, you didn't have any whipped cream with your Sunday. <laughs> he's like, you want some? I'm like, yeah, I guess that would top it off. And, yeah, I licked his nipples a little bit. He shipped out his Domin- pregnant Dominican uh, housemaid for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he shipped her out. He kicked her out of the fucking house for me. Uh, but no, yeah, that's what I was saying. Aaron Rodgers is shot, and then he's not going to come back. This whole thing has made me hate Jimmy Kimmel more than I thought I could. I do hate Jimmy Kimmel. I hated him before. before. But, like, him complaining about it. Like, dude, you are com- you did blackface before. There's pictures of Jimmy Kimmel yeah. in fucking blackface. And yeah. now you're clutching your fucking pearls being like, whoa. Well, he also did make You're a- threatened into the suit. You're a fucking comedian. Calm down. Well, you're putting comedian loosely. <laughs> yeah, I know I am. He could read off a script. Before he got his show... Like, Jimmy Kimmel used to do, like, a radio show called The Man Show with Adam Carolla in, like, the early 2000s where he did, like, blackface and that. Dude, he was he was one of, like, probably, quote-unquote, the edgiest fuckers out there. Shock value. Exactly. All shock value. But now, like, yeah, I get it. Like, you have a show, you have brand and a money for, to protect. But, like, you're really clutching your fucking pearls yeah. over this. All it was was he told Rodgers, he called him another CTE football player, and that there was no list. Is what he said before. Yeah. And he, Wait, he said that before Aaron Rodgers said it? Yeah, that's what he said before when Rodgers Yeah, I would fucking list. strike back and be like, Years well, ago. there's no list because you're probably on it, right? Yeah. And, and, like, Rodgers is probably – I hate Aaron Rodgers. Let me say that. I fucking hate Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Mr. Pfizer, shut the fuck up, Aaron. Shut the fuck up. He's beating Go the de- back into your fucking dark hole, you dumb little He's beating hobbit. the dead horse right now. You fucking little hobbit. I hate him. Go well, back to fucking Green Bay and freeze It was a down. dark hole in New York City. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Oh, he was in the Jew tunnels. That's why. He was in the tunnels. He was <laughs> that's why, that's why he faked his ACL injury so he could help them dig. Yeah, that's how he got hurt. <laughs> yeah, they, need, they, they needed a couple pro bowler to yeah. help him dig. He took a Yiddish shovel <laughs> <laughs> to the back of the Achilles. Well, that's why he brought Nathaniel Hackett to Jets. I mean, that's why the Jets offense has been anemic this year is because Nathaniel Hackett has actually been working to, like, draw up, like, Shovel yeah. digging plays for Aaron Rodgers and the Hasidic Jews. Also, if you look too with the play calling, I don't think Zach Wilson speaks Yiddish. No, so I think that's, so that's the issue. why. That's why he got screwed up so much. That's why they're ranked thirty second in offense. And that's why. Remember the one um, a couple few weeks ago, he got named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, but that's because they didn't have Nathaniel Hackett calling the plays. He was too busy helping the tunnels. They brought in someone as a replacement, and that was Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Who speaks both Yiddish and English. Yes, he's a dual so citizen. So that's the only one that got through um, Zach Wilson. And he's like, Zach, what's the deal with throwing <laughs> interceptions? Just don't do it. Yeah. Don't be a fucking retard. <laughs> and he's like, wow, I can hear this wow, guy. Wow, I can hear this guy. <laughs> hey, Zach, what's the deal with fucking your, your mom's friend? <laughs> he's like, wow. Zach, what's the deal with Mills' titties? It's, Why are they so big? And Zach's just Why smiling. Why are they so nice? Zach's just happy to have a conversation. Yeah, he's so happy. But no, <laughs> going back, I think, yeah, I, I 
don't respect Jimmy Kimmel at all, but it makes me hate him. You know he's good friends with Epstein's chef? Yeah, I know he is. Which is, like, also, like, the thing is, like, all these people are, like, tangentially connected. Yeah, great word. Like, thank you. Hollywood is this, I don't want, because you don't want to get into, like, I'm not right wing at all. You know me. I'm very far to the left. Landlord should be shot. Yeah. But um, there is, these structures do exist. And a lot of these people do rub shoulders with each other in the industry. And, like, that's the thing with, like, the wine scene thing. It's, like, people were joking about it, like, 10 years before. Yeah. So everyone, like, kind of knew. Also, but wouldn't say anything. Wouldn't, but, like, then when, like, someone finally breaks the news to the public being, like, hey, look, like, what a piece of shit this guy is. Like, what, whoa, what a fucking whoa. monster. Everyone's, like, yeah, fuck him. Like, down with. It's, like, yes. Obviously, like, that's a good thing. Yeah. But it's, like, a lot of these people knew. Yeah. But for whatever reason, and I I don't know. I'm not going to say I get it, but when you have, like, your career on the line and that, and it's, like, like these people, that's they don't really have a moral backbone. No. And they shouldn't pretend like they do. Yeah. Because a lot of these people, and especially, like, the late-night comedians. Yeah. I'm sure, like, your entire job is interviewing and hanging out with celebrities for 10 years on end. On a scripted on a platform. Scripted, it's, like, you didn't fucking hear anything. When a lot of these actors and presenters already know. Yeah. Seth MacFarlane made, like, a joke in, like, 2006 about it. It's like... But also, they could... All these people know, and, like, yeah, they don't have the morals to actually take a fucking yeah. stand against an actual rapist who's out there and continuing to do it. But also... It's a, it's an inside joke to the industry. And you could And throw... then, yeah, like, I'm, uh, I'm not going to go on a rant here, but I kind of will. But, like, you know, you have fucking, like, actresses in the crowd who have, like, suffered at the hands of fucking Weinstein... Yeah. And some of them for the sake of their, but like, and they have to like uh, crack a smile. But like, if you're on a platform right there, say something. Literally just, why not? Yeah. I guess what pisses me off so much about the Jimmy Kimmel situation, because one, I know you don't have a fucking moral backbone. Nah. You're just pissed that you got, you made a joke about Aaron Rodgers and then he punches you back. Yeah. But now you're a comedian and now you can't take a fucking joke. He also can't make a joke. Either. He can't make. He can't make <laughs> he can't, a joke to save his life. He can't take or make a joke. He can't make a joke to save his life. But also for Jimmy Kimmel and all late night hosts, you could throw literally pretty much ninety five percent of the population in their role, and they'll do the same thing. It takes. Nothing I would to say do late night. Kimmel, Fallon, Seth Meyers, yeah, Colbert, especially now. Colbert yeah. sucks. You could throw anybody in that role, I and they'll did be just like, fine. I always thought Conan was funny. I thought Conan was funny, too. I love Conan. Um, <laughs> I do love Conan. Um, he has a podcast now, which is great. Better show than ours. Third time <laughs> I've said it. <laughs> but he has a podcast now that's incredible to listen to. Um, Conan, I David Letterman back in the day was pretty funny. I always hated Jay Leno. Jay Leno, uh, not a funny host. I get he had a car collection. <laughs> Hey, guys. Just, I can't even do it, Jay The Lowe. fucking chin. The chin is insane. I just wanted to punch him in that, the chin. Uh, did you see him? He had a he had a bad car accident for a while. He got, like, Good. burns. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Fuck. All right, all right. I don't like his comedy. Did you I'm see not... this? Did you hear about this? <laughs> hey, did you hear about this, folks? I lost my jaw in a car accident. <laughs> Good. Fuck Jay Leno. Hey, boy, did you see about this? Did you hear about this? The Soviet Army just liberated a little town called Dachau in Poland. Did you see about this? Did you hear, you hear about, about this? this? you hear what they're doing to the Jews over there? Whoa, not my idea of a fun weekend. <laughs> He's, like, pulling on his collar. Glad I don't live in Poland. Yeah, so that way the crowd can get the punchline. Yeah. No, I thought David Letterman was kind of funny for a while. He's a creep. Conan and then Craig Ferguson I always thought was funny. He was on. He was Scottish. But that's why. Yeah. The accent made him. The accent. He was actually like witty and funny. Yeah. You know who's from that side of the water and sucks? James Corden. James Corden is the worst. Who's probably one of the. Uh, glad he's off the air now. He's the fucking worst. He is the biggest weenie. Apparently I've he's ever a seen. dick in real life, too. I believe. I mean, he's small, fat. He's small and, and ginger. fat and British, too. He sucked. He sucked. He's not funny. Let's do carp- carpool karaoke. <laughs> I love, I love that game where it was like you had to answer a question or eat whatever disgusting food, and he never answered the question. No, he just. I can't say that. Oh, I can't say that. (laughs) (laughs) Bull penis. What's your favorite color? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck James. What's your mom's maiden name? I can't answer that. (laughs) 
<laughs> Any excuse to eat? <laughs> Just eating like hot dogs covered in cat feces. Oh, I guess I got it. <laughs> he ate his guests too. <laughs> his guests couldn't even play the game because he ate their food. You know, after the haze. show, his pockets are full with the food to take home. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the craft services table, just stuffs his pocket full yeah. of like cheese it bags. Yeah. Runs out of there immediately. <laughs> just, well, not run. Well, he tried. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do a brisk walk to the elevator. Lose steam halfway. Have to like put your arm on the wall. Drops the feces covered Drop the hot dogs. Yeah. That was my excuse from <laughs> running when I was fat. I'm like, oh my God, the wind must be blowing in my mouth. <laughs> and then when you lose the wind, I like ran four miles one day. I'm like, this is honestly kind of fucking easy. Yeah. It's how could easy. I not do this before? Yeah, how could I not do this before? <laughs> how did I not crack this Da Vinci code? Jeez, when I had thighs like a buffalo, <laughs> why, yeah. why can I not? <laughs> yeah, it was, cra- it was uh, National Treasure 3 with Nicolas Cage. We're finding the secret of fat Americans, why yeah. America got fat. I think that was all of them. Yes, it was. We were going to seal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> we have to seal the Declaration of Independence. I fucking... Those they, movies are kind of fun. They took 0.5% of it. <laughs> yeah. The whole plot to seal it was fucking dumb. Too. I would have took all fucking. I would have yeah. took like 50%. All right, producers go on, say the N-word, say the N-word, say the say N-word. Say the N-word, say the N-word. Say it. <laughs> no, I'm fucking around. <laughs> you know who's been moving into our neighborhood, speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. Uh, let's just say uh, our neighborhood in West Seneca is kind of going downhill. I locked my car the other day. First time I've ever done that, and my car has been stolen. Yeah. <laughs> I leave my keys in my car. I know you do. My license plate is... I honestly think whatever, like, monster that has formed from the fungus growing in your backseat will probably eat whatever the back seat's is. The backseat's fine. It's is the cu- it? It's the cup holder. It's nasty. Well, you know, the backstory of this cup holder was I was leaving a cornhole tournament with a couple roadies. Yeah, you got some cum in it. I get it. Yeah, I had a bunch of dudes in the car. I, I, I wasn't with them, but I was with them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we knew each other. Yeah, I Ubered them there. <laughs> <laughs> I Ubered them there from Niagara Falls, Canada. Yeah, they had a couple sitters. Yeah, they had, they had some sitters for the kids. Good guys, though. Good guys, great guys. Yeah. Good to hang out with. Not at the bars, but like after. Yeah, I've never drank milkshakes with them, but they could slurp it up. <laughs> yeah. No, not to put you on blast about your disgusting vehicle. It's a nice vehicle. Okay. For a while, imagine driving a Jeep Compass and having it a one-seater. Yeah, it's nuts. It's That's fun. why we take our my car to... I almost said our car to the pod. <laughs> it's our car. <laughs> you did say that earlier. Like, our car. We I both told run- you to go fuck yourself, but then I just... I. That's how... You are a brain worm. Thank you. You know that. I don't know if that's a compliment. I have been called the Charles... But there's ways you fucking piss me off to no end. But then you'll say something, and I'll be annoyed at first. And then it, like, nestles in my yep. brain. And then I I find myself repeating it all the time. I have been called... And the... I'm like, you know what? That kind of makes sense, though. I've been called the Charles Manson of retards. <laughs> <laughs> the Charles Manson of double-digit IQs. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're under 60 IQ? Here, let me... Here. <laughs> you like let philosophy? Me, let me tell you about life. You kind of are. You really do. Here, why don't you go to the store, grab Have you been doing anything recently on that end? Maybe at work? Uh, I made an, a kid with Asperger's <laughs> sniff markers. <laughs> <laughs> don't write that down. We're not bleeping that. We're not bleeping that. We're not bleeping that. We're not bleeping that. I will get a promotion soon for this. Yeah, you might. I was hitting stuff with a mallet, and I was hitting markers. I was bored. Yeah. And I was like, you ever sniff a marker before? And the kid's like, no. <laughs> and I was like, you drink, right? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you ever you never sniff markers? Never caught a high? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to talk it up to him. Like, I got this kid. Dude, he had marker on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> he was sniffing hard. He turned him into Charlie Kelly. He went from <laughs> with the paint. Yeah, Charlie, let me see your tongue. Dude, he's gonna be killing rats in the basement of your place in no time. I hope so. Oh my god, he could kill half the warehouse. They look like oh, rats. He probably could. <laughs> he probably could not change his expression at all. He has never changed an expression. No, and I know deep down he loved it. <laughs> he probably does. 
probably bought like a pack of Sharpies on his way home. He's sniffing them. As well. Oh my God. I hope so. Uh-huh. Wait till I get him in the duster. <laughs> 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 I'm making him huff dust. Dude, I watched an intervention episode about a guy that did a duster. And I'm like, that's the saddest drug ever. Yeah. He's like, Ooh. and then he like smashes his head through the wall and, and he had like a girlfriend somehow. I'm like, I, I'm like, bitch, I know you're not good looking, but why are you sticking with the guy? Imagine who's... duster sex. <laughs> <laughs> duster sex is probably wild. If he's putting his head through a wall, imagine what else he puts it in. <laughs> du- <laughs> I'm sorry, let me read. You heard it here. Duster works better than Viagra. <laughs> Viagra's too Steven expensive. Demon and Dreamin' is now sponsored by Computer Duster. We're sponsored by Duster. <laughs> Go to your local office supply plus. <laughs> Buy as many cans as you can. Don't make eye contact with the cashier. Pay with check. Use promo code Scheming and Dreaming for twenty <laughs> percent off. For twenty percent off, <laughs> computer duster at Office Max. I hope we get royalties now. I do for duster and glue. First of all, those guys don't have any money; they're on duster. Yeah, imagine back in the day it was a big thing, huffing glue. I never got that. Imagine huffing glue because I know you had that. Now, I mean, you're doing it older, but when I was younger, there's a uh, my friends in um, not really, well. Catholic school before elementary school. So I was yeah. in like second grade, but she had a younger brother in kindergarten. And I'd feed him like glue sticks and sidewalk yeah. chalk, and I'd just laugh my well, ass off. Well, that was the, that was the way to not get molested by your priest was to just huff glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't want you. If you're they don't too, want the glue. They kids. don't want the two rowdy kids. No, because they could talk. Because guess what? They're a hassle. They're a hassle. And priests are old. They can't keep an erection for long. No. If I start and telling them. And if I'm running it. around the room and they can't catch me, guess what? Time for the next confession, buddy. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> next kid is. The next chubby kid that walks in, he's yeah. getting it bad. That next kid that beat up his younger brother or something, he's, he's getting, getting it bad. But me, I'm scot free. All I have to say is, yeah, I pee in the shower and then run around the room. You cried him. that day. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what. Not to go on another rant, but that's what Catholicism does to you. Yeah, it makes you feel bad about Catholicism nothing. is a religion of guilt. Is it not? Yeah. Because Protestantism is all about no matter what you do, you're doing the right thing and They go to church on Saturdays though. They do. But Protestants Church on a Saturday? Yeah, especially American <laughs> Protestantism, you're just rewarding yourself for doing whatever you do. Yeah, it's better than Yes. Catholicism is you should feel guilty about any slight you do against Also, God. can we talk about how gay it is to eat the body of Christ? I don't want to eat his body. Yeah, what am I eating his dick? <laughs> yeah, right? What if I get that part? Eat, eat his asshole? Yeah, I get to eat his giant traps. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I don't want to drink his blood either. Yeah, so, like, why? What, did, Ariana Grande has a new song. Uh-oh. She's like, why do you care whose dick I ride? That's one of the lyrics, and that was, uh, imagine you're the guy who um, left his wife and newborn son for her, and now you're referred to as the dick I ride. Yeah, where Taylor Swift would have dropped you by name. Yeah. <laughs> he, he plays Spongebob in the musical. Who, her ex? No, her new boyfriend. Who's her new boyfriend? Ethan Slat. Look him up. Looks exactly like her brother, one, disturbing. Ethan what? But remember that one girl I brought around who was um, six foot five and had like blonde hair and a beard? She was muscular too, right? She was muscular too. She drank a lot of beer, burped a lot. Heavy beer. Heavy <laughs> beer too, yeah. A lot of IPAs. And she was drinking Keystone Ices. Yeah, she's like, hey, Jake, this is good. <laughs> but no, yeah. Whoa, that's your boyfriend? Yep. She's that easy? All you have to do Look is- Look at her brother though. I've seen her brother. They look exactly like, but he plays SpongeBob in a musical. He had a wife and a newborn kid that he just left her for. I mean, holy shit! Yo, when she asks, <laughs> when she asks you to eat her ass like a Krabby Patty, but it tastes like the Chum Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking up his net worth because this is all it takes. Oh, it's probably like. A couple hundred K. It's the fuck much. Ariana Grande. You have to have a... Th- oh, this is after the SpongeBob movie. It's three mil. Oh, okay. We could get three mil pretty easily. Now that we live in the same house. Oh, we got a Tony Award. 
nomination. Oh, uh, a nomination. He got a Drama Desk Award in 2018. A drama Desk. Whoa! I don't. So if you have a net those. net worth of three mil and a Drama Desk Award from five years ago. Yeah, I only have uh, one award for uh, loosest asshole <laughs> in 2021. That was a competitive year, too. That was a very competitive year. I, I remember... Well, because a lot of people followed the, the lockdown mandates for COVID. I said, no, I'm yep. chasing an award. I'm an athlete. I put on a mask. Yeah. And I went to every fucking house I could find and said, hey, is your husband a little sad right now? Is your marriage on the rocks? I bet he just needs to release a little bit of energy. Yep. You trained your ass off. Dude, for I it. fucking worked my ass off to get where I am right you, now. Yeah, you deserve it. Yeah. I worked my ass off to get where I am right now. You worked your I ass off. I literally worked my ass off. Yeah, oh yeah. It falls out every time I try to take a pee. The whole ass cheek? Just it falls out. It's a like Mr. Potato Head I gotta asshole. scoop it up like chicken liver back into like a little Tupperware container. It is brutal. I hate when I shit and my intestines come out. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta like try to roll them up. I got a fucking fishing line that I have to hook down my mouth. <laughs> real pack, real pack. Come here, come here. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Shout out to loose assholes. A lot of people have them. You could fit a raccoon in your asshole. I could fit probably a whole family. A migrant family? I could pro- <laughs> Yeah, that's why I got a lot of work in, uh, next year as a coyote. Yeah. Across the border. That's why our house got fixed up. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> that incomplete bathroom we had for a year, they got fixed real yeah. quick with uh, <laughs> with <laughs> Juan Harvey's that I brought over and his family. Yeah, that roof never looked better. Yeah. But, no, um, yeah, the walls were the Mexicans, like the basement and the tunnel area. That was the Hasidic Jews that I had. Yeah. I just said the Jewish messiahs in, underneath our floorboards, can you come over and fix up our basement for yeah. us? And they did. They still they've been eating all our food though. They st- <laughs> um now they are they 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 do live in my room and say it's there theirs now and they're trying to kick me out and then yeah. they threaten to send in tanks if I say no I lived and at this house all my life. The part that sucks is they get all the fucking US funding. I to know do that that's too, true. Which is crazy. But luckily we have a living room where they can't enter and we also can't enter. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean it's it's a minefield. No, it's great that there's a neutral zone that I can't enter, but they can't enter either. Yeah, it promotes peace. Even though I'm still stuck in the killing field, hey, at least there's a little neutral zone that's set up that none of us can get in. Yeah, but we think about it. But we think about it. I think about watching TV in that living room every day. I know. (laughs) As I'm holding the corpse of my second-born son in my fucking hands. Yeah, I think about that all the time. But they don't know that it's going to be the new season of The Golden Bachelor, and I have to get to that living room. I know. I do have to get to that living room. Do you watch The Bachelor? Uh, I have before. I'm not going to say we should start watching it now that we live together. but I don't think you could watch that show if you're a single man. That's true. Who are you going to talk about it with? You're going to go to work? Yeah, I only watch. Hey, you guys see The Bachelor lately? Yeah, I only watched an episode when you were with... Um... She's in a better place. She might be. I do love her, though. But no, yeah, I only watched an episode with you guys. Yep. And uh, I was somehow into it. The energy. The energy is great. The energy from that room with you guys. I'm like, you know what? Now I'm invested in the bash. I would love to start what I can't. I can't do it now. You can join me. You saw it last week. I went to Sopranos. Yeah. Did you like how, like, before each time a character talked, I said exactly what they were going to say? Yeah. It didn't ruin it at all for me. No. I think Mom was getting... I did just watch the last episode. The finale? Yeah. You can't watch the finale if I don't watch it what's come before. Uh, I watched a couple episodes with our other roommate. You cannot watch... You cannot watch the finale without watching what's How do we know he died? I... Oh, I get it, we, We're already probably at, like, 45 minutes, um... And we're probably going to end, like, another 15, 21, 25 or so. So, Jake. I don't have a fucking three-hour window to explain to you why Tony Soprano died at the end of The Soprano. Spoiler, he dies. It's dead. I know why you think that. Because three black people came into a restaurant. Two black people. First of all, it's two unidentified black males, which is a title of Season 5, Episode 9 of The Sopranos, the previous season. 
not the previous it, season six got split up remember but this was a title and you know they said oh two black guys did it or when uh you never watched that episode no but one of the mobsters assaults the um, other mobster emily get ready to bleep this one of the mobsters assaulted the other mobster and they're like they're like who are we gonna tell like what are we gonna tell the police and he's like tell them what we saw the but that's a little quote from the show. Yeah. yeah. Nobody even know what you just bleeped. No, they probably do. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm kind of in trouble now. Bleep two words before that. Nah, just, yeah, they probably know. Hopefully work does not find out that I'm on a show. People, I told you, someone recognized me. At, that's insane. At the tailgate for the Bills game. I'm like, somebody listens to this fucking show? Because yeah. they're like, your voice sounds familiar. You should have said I'm on AM radio. I'm like, I'm like, oh, how? And they're like, you know, Jake Faz. I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, God damn it. God damn it. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's me. And then one of my friends, she's like, oh yeah, you're kind of famous. I'm like, no, no one listens to this. Yeah, it's we're not famous. Whoever the fuck this guy is. It's actually, still get it. it's for the better. We're not famous. No, I was still like. There's just, I would like to just do this twice a week and make money off. There's going to be a new island opening up. <sighs> No, because we cannot afford that. We, if we're famous enough, we could probably rent out like um, sp- um, Splash Lagoon for <laughs> for like an afternoon. <laughs> Not even a night swim. <laughs> nope, just an afternoon. So we get the day. Uh, day- so like two two to eight, we could probably get it. We got a day, uh, two to eight whirlpool party <laughs> <laughs> at Lazy River. We should only we run- give them a fifteen second head start that we go in with our tubes. <laughs> but they don't know we're better swimmers. Yes. <laughs> I did like Splash Lagoon. Splash Lagoon was cool. I like the Great Wolf Lodge. Great. You want to talk about a TV? Dude, I have fantasies of getting money and then just renting out the Great Wolf Lodge of, like, me, like, you, and a couple friends. Just the entire day there. No line. Oh, no lines there. No lines. There wasn't really even lines when we stayed there either. No, we also went in winter. But that's when you should go. I agree. I love the Great Wolf Lodge. We only went once, but that was probably the twice. happiest we've we ever twice. been. Twice. Did we go twice? We went twice, brother. Maybe I was too young the first time. You were too young the first. We the went The second twice. time is probably the only happiness I've ever felt in my entire life. I've never felt more, more joy than putting on that little... Oh, my God. What's that ride where you go on and you have, like, that little fucking... It's like Aladdin's carpet. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to describe, but yeah. that, that was a ride. You can't describe it to people who've not been there, but no. it's a euphoric feeling. And then you get out, and you're right by the basketball court in the water. Yep. There was a there was a water basketball court. I remember that. Yep. And that ride, the exit was right there. Because I was watching you play basketball, and I was, like, at a pool next door, and I was, I was like, crouched out, and I was just pissing. <laughs> I was like this, and I was just, like, pissing in the water. And I was watching you and Tom hoop. Yeah. I pissed in every pool I've been in. How can you not? It's you have to. You have to. I don't pee in hot tubs. No. First of all, yeah, never pee in a fucking hot tub. That's closed. No. Pool. It, come on, man. Pool's fair game. Unless it's like a smaller pool. Type. Nope. Doesn't matter. You don't. You don't care. Cold water. Nothing makes me want to pee more than cold water. It's true. Because guess, guess what, Jake? We drink cold water. We don't drink warm water. That's true. So when the cold water, I feel it below my nipples. It makes me want to go. Yeah. What's that? A hotel in Connecticut a couple of years ago with my friend Matt, and there was like a pool at the hotel. It was a nice hotel. This is where we met Rick Harrison. <laughs> a proudest moment of my life. I harassed moment. Rick Harrison at a bar, but we were in like the pool after, and I was like, I kind of like swam towards the edge. Yep. And he's like swimming over. He's like, ah, Jake, let's get another drink. I'm like, get, get, the, get the fuck, away, the from fuck it. away from me. I'm in the deep end. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in the deep end. You don't notice how warm the water is getting? No. And it was not like a light one. I was like yeah. going like this on the edge for like yeah. probably half a minute. I used to like when, as a kid, when you had torpedo wars. Oh, and yeah. And people would go underwater to throw them and I'm yeah. just pissing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the bubbles rise. Yeah, but like the tor- like you would catch the torpedo, like torpedo wars. They were fun. Kowalski, Wisniewski, Wojak. I know, th- I know all four of these top Polish last names. Yeah, we got a lot of them in Buffalo, and that has to be corrected. But yeah. gotta have a long look in the mirror after this. 
<laughs> Who did I really know? You know what they say, Jake? History repeats itself. Yeah, yeah. Not all those, because I was reading those, I said last week, I was reading those court documents, and I wasn't, like, disheartened, but, like, a lot of my friends are on there. Yeah. And I'm like, I know these guys. I've hung out with them. We've had, like, poker nights and that. I'm like, they're not bad people. They're good guys. I get they went on a plane, and they went to an island. They did whatever. We've all been on planes. We've all been on planes. Most of us have been on islands. I have been on an island. I have not done what they've done, but. I'm I'm not going to give him a free pass, but I'm going to be like, let's try to do better next time. And you know, be we like, sh- you know what? You're right, Jake. You know what we should blame? Alcohol. We should. Alcohol is too wide, uh, too mainstream. I will say I'm a little drunk right now. <laughs> and you might go. It, <laughs> no, 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 no. If you had a no. first class flight right now, you would go. Because of alcohol. first class flight. Like, you know, I'd go like hang out with elephants in uh, India or something. Yeah, the bigger kids. I like you just <laughs> winked at me. The bigger kids. That's what you call elephants. <laughs> the bees in high school. <laughs> the ones that stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was called hippo in high school, not elephant. Oh, you should have said that. I you, did not have my tusks. You should have said. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have the tusks. You're always near the river. <laughs> <laughs> just guarding in, it. Just like in the water like this. You're guarding the steps of every pool you go in. <laughs> Charts people off. I was always a good swimmer when I was fat, too. Though. You were a good swimmer. Dude, I was probably the best. I, I've not been in a pool in a while, but I'm sure if I get back in, I'd... It's just like right? You could cut this and cut from whatever i can't all right you're gonna cut what whatever he says i'm not i'm not able to i'm not able to how dare you bring that up but that's the same you think you were in the book of slights before brother you are in it now i i said it because we're gonna cut it we can leave it i i don't even know a little rattled right now it was well timed you ever see the first Jason and Travis like season of the podcast where Travis said something about the Eagles losing and Jason had to walk off and they had to record like a day later? Yeah. I kind of feel like that right now. And I'm going to wear the same outfit and you change it. And I'm going to change. I'm going to wear this Duluth white t-shirt with the gray champion sweats I'm going to come back with like shit smeared on my... <laughs> this might drive you into Sonic. madness. But I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I was saying it as the expression... And as I started saying it, I started chuckling. No, because you get a little look in your eye. I midway through. Midway through, when you realized what you were doing. But I had to finish. So midway it. through, when you were fucking me in the ass, you realized <laughs> you were coming too, and you started to enjoy it. One thing about it, you can keep all this in. <laughs> Just cut the b- stuff and bleep that word. Yeah, we hate. B- now that's why I, I always tell Calvin that I'm gonna get him back one day for that. And that kid's been through the rainer. And I've been there to support him and bring him up, you know. But one day I'm going to fucking get him in the back for that. One day you're going to tear him down. Yeah. 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 All right. You got any last thoughts? Uh, we're ending? Yeah, we can end it. All right. I got pissed. Uh, Go Bills, obviously. We didn't I'll talk be. about them at all. Obviously. Deion Dawkins, baby. <laughs> you already snow. We're going to win. We're going to win! <laughs> <laughs>